tight end here. Got a video for you today on offense, carrying the puck into the offensive zone. Now let's say, uh, let's say for example, I'm a right winger and I'm carrying the puck into the offensive zone. The defender's got good position on me, so he's cushioning in, you know, getting closer to me as I get closer to the goal. So let's see, what choices do I have? I might be able to carry the puck in deeper, depending on exactly where the defender is. Or if that's not a good option, I might be able to cut over to the center. If their team is not back checking and filling in the zone, I might have a lot of open ice there to my left. As their defense comes in, I might be able to swing it over to the center. Or stopping completely might be another option, especially if I see players from my team trailing in, might be coming into good position there and some open ice for a shot. Okay. So uh, if you watch some of the great players of the game, Sidney Crosby, for example, a lot of times he'll see some room to carry the puck in deeper. He'll get that left shoulder inside of the defender, and he'll be controlling the puck, uh, keeping it away from the defender, but having his back against the defender with some leverage there, uh, being able to carry the puck in deeper. Uh, another thing I've seen Crosby do is stop completely. I forget what series it was this last uh, season uh, in the playoffs, but... I've seen him just stop completely and uh, you know wait for one of our other players to be coming into the zone, make the pass, and a shot to score. So that brings me to another thing I want to draw your attention to is why does the NHL, hockey in general, give two assists? It's because most times a pass and a shot will have more chance of scoring than just a shot. If the goal is ready for your shot, and you take a big old slap shot, most of the times he's going to catch it. Uh, so a pass and a shot means the goalie has to move over to adjust and then be ready for the shot. So a pass and a one-time shot, the goalie's probably still going to be moving into position and have a much lower chance to make the save. So, passing versus shooting. This is an argument some teams get into a lot. Uh, you know, hey, that guy never passes and whatnot. So the, the thing, the rule of thumb there I use is, if you have the shot, take it. So in other words, if you see a way for the puck to get in, if you see twine, okay, having the shot doesn't mean you have time to wind up and take a big old slap shot. That's not having the shot. Having the shot is seeing twine, seeing a way for that puck to get into the back of the net. If you see a shot, take it. No one should ever get down on anybody else for taking a shot that they think they have, okay? Passing though, like I said, passing a shot has a much higher percentage chance of scoring, so, you know, sometimes if I see I have a shot but I have an excellent pass, I might take that pass because I know I got a bigger, better chance there. So, anyways, um, when you don't have a shot, when the defender's in good position, you don't want to just try to blast the slap shot through his legs because it's got to get past the defender, past the goalie. Low percentage shot. So what you want to do is create time and space. Again, size up the situation. Carrying it in deeper, is that going to give me a better chance for creating time for myself? Swinging to the middle or stopping completely? Stopping completely can be a great way to make time because the defender's got to react. The defender also has to stop. And you're going to have one or two seconds there to see a play developing and make a pass. Uh, so the bottom line, if you don't have a shot, do what you need to to create time for yourself, create space for your team. You know, So if you're coming in down the middle and the defender's right in your way, you want to go to the outside. Create some uh, time and space that way. So that's what I have for you today. Carrying in deep, cutting to the middle, stopping, whatever you have to do to create time and space, taking the shot if you have it, making the pass if you can. All right, talk to you later. See you next time.